Tracy Adams has built the best team of pediatric ultrasound technologists in the world. She has been the standard bearer for the highest quality ultrasound imaging of children. During her nearly four decades of leadership, she has trained many technologists and young doctors in the care of children. Always open to innovative technical advances, she has tested and evaluated new equipment for its application on our pediatric patients and diseases. She is an accomplished team leader, open to the opinion of others. She leaves a legacy of compassionate care of children and will be missed by the entire radiology department. We wish her a long and happy retirement, enjoying time with her family and friends. Well, 39 years ago, ultrasound was a new modality in radiology, and they needed an additional technologist to train. And I was a brand new x-ray tech, and I was a little apprehensive to apply because I really liked what I was doing at the time. But I went ahead and took the chance to train in this new modality, and I've never regretted my decision. Well, since I started working in ultrasound in the late uh, 1970s, the department moved its location four times. We've been at our current location the longest, 21 years. Um, in the beginning, there was only one ultrasound machine, and we performed about six exams a day. And now we have seven ultrasound machines at the base. We have two dedicated fetal ultrasound machines, as well as five outpatient sites. And now we perform about 75 to 85 exams each day. And when I started, there was a staff of two, and now that staff has grown to 34. Well, it's changed a great deal since I started in 1977. Um, initially, we had the bistable 2D imaging system with a fixed articulated arm. And we thought it was so exciting what we could visualize, but we go back now and laugh at what we saw compared to the images that we see today. And then next came real-time imaging, and ultrasound became portable, and we could go to the patient's bedside. Then Doppler imaging was next. And we really had to know the anatomical location of every vessel in order to obtain a pulse wave signal. And then our world changed when Doppler, color Doppler imaging came along. It was so much easier to locate the vessels um, to obtain a pulse wave. And about that time, the hospital performed their first liver transplant in the mid-1980s. And we performed a daily ultrasound exam on the patient's new liver. And our role was to document the blood flow of the patient's new liver. And if there was no blood flow, the patient went back to the OR. It was exciting to play a role in the care of these patients. I think I'll miss the camaraderie of the people that I interact with every day. And I had an opportunity to work with amazing people. And I think I'll miss that being a part of. That was a big part of my life here.